Hi everyone, my name is Karthik and I'm presenting our paper titled Mixture Model Attention, Flexible Streaming and Non-Streaming Automatic Speech Recognition and this is joint work with colleagues at Google. The problem we are tackling in this paper is that we want to build a single model for causal and non-causal ASR. Uh, existing solutions require modifications to the model architecture or training glass. What we are proposing is a very simple solution. It is to replace the single softmax attention with a mixture model attention where each softmax mixture component spans a disjoint context. So on the figure on the right, what we see first is conventional attention uh, and it has a single softmax in every row. On, on the right, what we see is a MIMO attention where we are decomposing the softmax into a combination of a causal softmax and an anti-causal softmax. The advantages of this approach is that we have a correctly normalized retention PDF at both training and causal or non-causal inference, and no modifications are made to the training loss or any addition of model parameters is done. The data sets we use in this paper are 960 hours slippery speech and 5,000 hours each of in-house Tamil and Gujarati voice search data. The ASR model used a conformer acoustic encoder in RNNT with LSTM prediction network. We used 1,000 word pieces for library speech and 4,000 for Gujarati and Tamil. And we did not use any external language model or any unsupervised or supervised pre-training. For illustration, this table shows results on Tamil voice search data. And just for notation, L comma R denotes the left context of L right of L frames and right context of R frames. So in this table, first let's look at the first pass results. There are two baseline models, a base 640 model and a base 6464 model, the latter one being a full context model. And the last model we are comparing with is the proposed BMO 6464 model. In the first pass, we see that the left context only baseline has a word error rate of 22.3. The left plus right context model has a word error rate of 20.0 when used with the mashed inference context of 6464. But when we switch to a left only context, the word error rate shoots up to 33.2. On the other hand, the MIMO model offers respectable word error rate, irrespective of whatever context is used at inference. When we look at the second pass neural oracle search results, we observe that neural oracle search gives word error rate improvement for all the models. But with the MIMO model, we have the additional advantage that the first pass hypothesis can be generated from a left context only model. And the second pass can use encoder activations from a full inference graph, that is left plus right context and we get a word error rate of 20.9 shown in the bottom right of this figure. So this slide also summarizes the same conclusions. Uh, we believe that the MIMO model is actually uh, very interesting and solves a lot of problems and gives a single model that can operate in both causal and non-causal modes at inference and also benefits uh, from second pass rescoring. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you in our presentation. Thank you very much.